Hey everyone, Major Frenchy. Welcome to the Virtual Pinball Show. This week, I want to talk about Freezy, also known as uh, DMD EXT. Now, this what we call it Freezy because it was created by Freezy, and uh, this is an amazing addition that you can have to your virtual pinball setup. It adds a lot of sharpness. It adds a lot of functionality such as you can save globally the position, you can save globally the style. It just makes your DMD pop. Uh, Everything yeah. I talk about today is gonna be available in the show notes. The show notes, they're available, majorfrenchy.com slash blog under today's show. This is episode number two. Installing Freezy is not that complicated. And in order to do that, we're just gonna head over to the uh, workshop I'm going to show you how to install it step by step. Also, there is a guide that I've created, majorfrenchy.com slash freezy, and it will take you to the step by step. Again, this link is going to be in the show notes. We are going to um, change the DMD today. We're going to upgrade to a much crisper version. This is uh, what we call the built-in DMD. Now you're seeing two here right now. I've loaded the table in desktop mode. In the previous video, I showed you how to change the color of this by pressing F1 and selecting the different color here. You just kind of restart the table and you're going to see that the new color is taking effect. Now, this is not a real colorizing. No, uh, let's head over to the GitHub first. And uh, here uh, we can see that the latest release is 2.2.1. Uh, we're going to download this. By the way, Freezy, um, you're doing amazing work, man. Thank you so much for all your work. We're going to stick to the X. 86 for now. Uh, eventually, we'll upgrade to x64. So let's just download that zip file. So let's head to the download folder. And we're going to right click and click properties, unblock, and apply. And then we're going to extract those files right here. And we're going to head over to vpin mame. So I have a shortcut here, it's within visual pinball and vpin mame. And we're gonna take all these files right here and we're gonna drop them in the folder. If it says uh, some files already exist, you can go ahead and replace them. Uh, the only thing that you uh, might want to be careful of is if you've uh, already done this, the DMD device.ini may have certain settings that you will uh, lose if you do this. So just be aware of that. So in order to enable this, uh, we're going to head over to um, setup.exe within the vpin main folder. And we're going to go in the setup default. You will want to check the use external dmd.dll. And also uh, show DMD display. That's the built-in version. We're going to leave it for now. I just want to show you the, um, the difference between the two. And I'm going to click on Colorize DMD here. We're going to enable that. And we're going to click OK. OK, so uh, we're going to load the table. And then you're going to see that um, it might not show. And I'll tell you the reason why it is not showing is because we already have uh, played with this table. We've already changed the settings. And what you will want to do is to rechange the uh, DMD option. Press F1. See, like I've unchecked that earlier. You will want to recheck this and click OK. And we're going to press F3 to relaunch the table. And uh, Freezy should show up now. Yeah, see, this is Freezy now. Let's just do a quick comparison. So you're seeing uh, Freezy on the top and then the regular DMD uh, built-in VPX um, on the bottom. So it's, it is much sharper. So we're going to add coins and you'll be able to see, see the difference, how much sharper it is. That's actually uh, really, really good. Okay, so now we're gonna disable this one here. I wanna do it globally. Go back in VPN MAME. We're gonna run setup.exe. Gonna go to setups. And then we're going to remove the show DMD display. Now, when you apply globally, like I just did, it will not affect the uh, single table setting. So we're gonna need to press F1 again. 
and I'm going to click OK. See, it just disappeared now. You can change the color exactly like we did. So you're going to right click on this and you can click on Customize Style. In here, you can actually play with the different setup. You can change the way it looks. Just put it like this, red with yellow, just for the, the sake. Uh, I'm going to save this and then if you want to apply, you can apply just for this table or you can apply globally, but I don't want to globally. I'm going to apply. See, it changed immediately. You can just click the bottom corner on the right and uh, you're going to see a little arrow and then left click your mouse button, hold it, and then you can resize it. See, it keeps the proportion. You can change this by right-clicking and ignore aspect ratio. It will allow you to change the height and the width. So that's pretty cool. So we're just gonna move it to the DMD, make it fit in that box over here. It is much easier to uh, adjust, by the way. This does not save by default the location. You right click and you can save the position globally or you can um, save it just for this table. You're going to right click on DMD device.ini and edit with Notepad. And if you scroll at the bottom, you will see that this is the setting of the table we've just saved. Now, something to keep in mind, if you're ever updating Freezy, uh, you gotta be careful not to overwrite this DMD device.ini because what happens is if you do, you're gonna lose all your settings. Now you can have the different colors for your each table, you custom tweak them, and then enjoy. Freezy is such a, a blessing. When it comes to virtual pinball, there are not a lot of companies making virtual pinball tables. Um, we have the community that are actually are making the tables and we wanna thank everybody for their involvement. A company uh, that actually has been very involved in virtual pinball is Zen Studio. We know Zen Studio for Pinball FX3, uh, older version Pinball FX2. Now they've transitioned to a newer version called Pinball FX. Uh, we're going to talk about Pinball FX next week. But what I want to talk about today is another variation of Zen Studio, and it's called Pinball M. It's going to be released on the 30th of November. I've installed it on the cabinet. Let's have a look. Welcome to the Temple of Eternal Playground. Are you ready to play with the forces of darkness? Help is here! Strike! Mastering the use of the flippers will keep the ball in play. Told ya, we were gonna be friends to the end, and now it's time to play. Keep going. Shows how much you know. Eat dirt, Tommy! <laughs> Keep going! The actual doll in those murders. Promise me, Chucky.
What are you waiting for? Christmas? Go ahead. Make my day. Who wants some? I ain't afraid of no quake. This sucks. <laughs> Payback time. Damn it. Pissing me off. Go ahead, make my day. The Trapper. Disarmed. Wife is chased. Dash. Behold the unlockable items. There's always something new for you to discover. Everybody getting started in virtual pinball and wanting to build a cabinet are always asking the same question. Should I build it myself? Should I restore? Or should I buy brand new? I tried two of those options. I actually restored one. It was an original Williams pinball table from the 70s. I restored it and I created, uh, well, my first cabinet from it. It was a really, really challenging task because the, the cabinet was really damaged. I'm not a professional woodworker. I'm getting better, obviously, because I've tinkered so much. Uh, but um, there's other options. Now, I've mentioned that I've created my own cabinet, and I want to walk you through my cabinet in an upcoming episode. But I just want to let you know that there are guides out there. There are people such as Way of the Ranch that are providing guides on how to create your, your own uh, and also video tutorials. So don't feel too intimidated by the process. The last option is going to uh, be a, a flat pack that we call. It's basically a kit. You can assemble it yourself and it's professionally cut with CNC. You will get an amazing, good quality looking cabinet. Everything I talk about on this show, folks, 
is going to be uh, something that I really believe in. When talking about kits or flat pack, two companies comes to mind. The first one is Virtual Pin. Paul at Virtual Pin. Uh, I've never ordered from Paul, but you can look it up online. I've heard so many good things. His products are good quality. I've never heard of anybody having an issue or at being defrauded or not receiving the product. Virtua Pin is, is a good choice and uh, you will get a good quality cabinet. The second company is Lab Arcades. They're located in the US. The person that actually runs this, I know the person and you can actually trust his quality work. You can even see the work that he's doing on his website. Two packs that you can order. I don't say that there are not other people selling packs uh, or selling kits. Do me a favor, do your research first. Go in the forums, go in the different sites and look up what people are saying about the person you want to buy from. Today's table of the week is SpongeBob Bikini Bottom Pinball from the VPW. It is a phenomenal table. The uh, physics in this is just simply amazing. All the people that actually chipped in and uh, got involved in this table. Thank you so much, folks. Introducing VPW's latest creation, SpongeBob's Bikini Bottom Pinball by the original table author, Skillshop. Dive into the deep sea fun with your favorite sponge and friends in this exciting new table. Immerse yourself in Bikini Bottom's quirky world with innovative gameplay and stunning graphics. Get ready for a pinball adventure like no other. When it comes to a virtual pinball, whether or not you're using a cabinet or if you're using just a desktop, managing your tables is very important because it can get overwhelming, especially if you have hundreds of tables. There is a front end that allows you to manage those tables. Um, I'm going to briefly touch on some of the front end. Uh, we're going to cover them in details in the upcoming shows. But I just want to make you aware that uh, there are more than one possibility when it comes to choosing uh, the front end for your table. What is a front end? Well, a front end is simply uh, a software that allows you to add tables and to display them in a nice environment where you can scroll, you can view the table, you can view the backlash, you can hear the sound, and uh, you, that way you can add multimedia to your front end, and it adds to the experience. And usually choosing the table um, with a click of a button will launch the table for you. And that way you don't have to use a keyboard. You can simply use a mouse or even a button on your cabinet to launch the table. Bottom line, it's, the choice is going to be yours as to what you feel comfortable with, what kind of options and what kind of feature you're looking for. But here are the three uh, that it comes to mind. The first one is the one I use currently on my cabinet is Pinup Popper. Pinup Popper was created by Nailbuster. And thank you so much, Nailbuster, by the way. Uh, it is an amazing front end, very powerful, very rich in features. It allows you to add multimedia with a click of a button, downloading from a server that Nailbuster uh, put together. There are a lot of feature in this software, so it can be a little bit overwhelming for certain people. If you're looking for a solution, that is a little bit more basic, that is actually gonna provide you with multimedia, will actually allow you to add tables and will allow you to launch them. You can opt for Pinball Y. Pinball Y was designed by our guru, MJR, Michael J. Roberts, and he basically designed this front end, will allow you to launch tables and add multimedia uh, without all the bells and whistle. Finally, Pinball X. Pinball X is my first uh, front end that I've used many years ago. I love Pinball X. It's a really good software. Uh, this was developed by Tom Spears, and uh, there actually are a lot of functionality within uh, Pinball X. It has a database manager. It allows you to download the images and the media for the table as well. It, it is a good solution. I don't think it's as complicated as uh, Pinup Popper but it's also a very good solution. By the way, uh, we're gonna have Tom Spears uh, on the show in the next couple of weeks. And in the workshop, um, we haven't done much on our setup yet. We have Visual Pinball X that we've installed, and today we've installed Freezy. Eventually, we're gonna start connecting toys to it. 
we're going to add solenoids, we're going to add shaker motor, we're going to add lights and different things. Now, in order to control that, uh, we need what we call a virtual pinball control board. A lot of people don't know exactly what it is. Uh, I'm going to cover everything in depth uh, on the upcoming shows. I'm going to do like a, a device per show, for example. Uh, today, I just want to give you a brief overview of what a virtual pinball controller is. So uh, we have uh, what's the most commonly used device for virtual pinball is what we call a KL 25Z. Now, this is a free scale board. And the beauty of this board is that this is totally open source. You can flash it. You can add different software. We have the Pinscape software that was created by MJR that we can flash onto this. And then what happens is then that becomes a control board to allow you to turn devices on and off. Now, there are multiple devices that are using this. For example, here, I have Arno's Rig Master. Um, I'm going to talk about this. I've already done tutorials. Um, actually, the link is going to come up here. Also, the link is going to be in the show notes. But I have a full tutorial on how to connect your virtual pinball using Arno. It is an amazingly good uh, hardware. Turns this into an extension if you want. You can have more ports and also uh, power booster that are part of this. We're going to talk about this when I talk about the KL25Z. Um, you just cannot connect toys directly to this and expect them to work because the power is not enough. So you need to boost that. Now, there are also other devices such as the uh, Saint Smart. Now, this is eight ports Saint Smart board, and this allows you to connect the toys as well. Um, this is the uh, LED Wiz. The LED Wiz I've used for years, I still have in my current cabinet. It actually allows you to control pretty much like the KL25Z, multiple devices. Although if you're gonna connect toys to this one as well, you need to think of the power. The Saint Smart board, um, I have a new one that I just ordered. This one is the Solid State Saint Smart. It's an A port device. There's no clicking. It's fast, it's reliable. And I actually can't wait to test this one out. It's gonna be pretty cool. This one, uh, you will need a power booster. So again, we'll talk about that when time comes. If you know of other options, if you actually want me to test some of your options, you can always reach out majorfrenchy.com slash feedback. This show is already coming to an end. Uh, I know your time is so valuable and I just want to thank you so much for spending that valuable time with me here today. Until next time.